सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम डेट ऑफ लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री लैमडा लैमडा माइनस वन लैमडा प्लस थ्री लैमडा प्लस वन टू माइनस लैमडा लैमडा माइनस फोर लैमडा माइनस थ्री लैमडा प्लस फोर थ्री लैमडा इज इक्वल टू पी लैमडा पावर फोर प्लस क्यू लैमडा क्यू प्लस आर लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस एस लैमडा प्लस टी देन टी इज इक्वल टू जस्ट अब्जर्व द ऑप्शंस इन दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑप्शंस प्ले मेजर रोल वाइटर रोल सी इफ यू जस्ट चेक द ऑप्शंस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इज नाइनटीन थर्ड इज सेवेंटीन फोर्थ इज एटीन सो दैट मीन्स दैट टी इज कॉन्स्टेंट एब्सोल्यूटली कॉन्स्टेंट और वी कैन से दैट टी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ लैमडा सिंस T is independent of lambda. We got a trick or a tip we can use. So that means for any real value of lambda, T will be always constant. So that means why don't we take lambda for zero? Yes, take lambda for zero on both sides. We get required value T. Understood now? so in this problem simple technique is there put lambda is equal to 0 so you can have a one doubt also why should we put lambda is equal to 0 if, if you put lambda is equal to 0 directly we get t value every value become 0 that's why lambda is equal to 0 we have to consider so here hint put lambda is equal to 0 then what does it become debt of 0 minus 1 3 1 2 minus 4 minus 3 4 0 is equal to 0 power 4 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus t so t is nothing but determinant of this one so t is equal to determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix how to find out 0 multiplied by plus sorry plus of minus of minus plus 1 into its cofactor so deleting this row this column 0 minus 12 plus 3 into so now 4 plus 6 4 plus 6 so now this is equal to minus 12 plus 30 so 30 minus 12 is equal to 18 so which will be the right option wait now i think so so you have to wait for a while here you have to check it so the fourth one is the right option so now we are going to discuss to find out determinants of the 3 by 3 square matrix using some tips shortcuts so this problem can be solved or cracked within 30 seconds okay now let us take one problem here determinant of a h g h b f g f c so this is very very important this problem may appear in engineering entrance examination so first i complete in traditional method after that i go for the shortcut okay so now Generally, if you want to find out this determinant, say suppose dt a, this is a multiplied by b c minus f square, am I correct? And minus h of c h minus g f 
plus g of h f minus b g h f minus b g okay. this is a b c minus a f square minus c h square plus f g h plus f g h minus b g square all the terms can be rearranged f g h f g h to f g h plus a b c minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square this is original method but moreover I have shortened the problem but instead of this this may be somewhat lengthy now I explain simple method that is shortcut method shortcut method so what is the shortcut method means whenever 2f g h plus a b c minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square related problems are there even it can be applied for pair of straight lines so if in pair of straight line problem sometimes you are asked to find out unknown values in given pair of lines at that time we use actually determinant concept itself only at that time we can make it use of the shortcut also here in a h g h b f g f c are nothing but alphabet we have a b c f g h so first a b c write down after that next we get f g h only as per order again f g h write down understood now simply you arrange like this a b c f g h f g s so this called rows columns so you remember this one sum of the product of the sum of the product of the elements of row equals to sum of the product of the product of the elements of columns elements of the of columns see very simple now a into b into c a b c plus f into g into h f g h f into g into h f g h okay is equal to a f square b g square c h square if you bring this side what do you get you get this one only simple so therefore a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square that's all so is it simple or not